Number 15, Haya. Known officially as the Committee for the Promotion of Virtue and the Prevention of Vice, Haya is a government organization in Saudi Arabia tasked with enforcing the country's Sharia law. Prior to 2007, officers would patrol the streets with canes and sticks and would harshly punish anyone breaking the religious laws. These include a dress code, strict separation of men and women, enforcing the call to prayer and any other behavior seen to go against the morals of Islam. The Haya has gained notoriety internationally due to their severe punishments they inflict, and human rights organizations have denounced both their actions and those of Saudi Arabia. Their headquarters in Riyadh is located within a square used to execute criminals and offenders of Sharia law. People are publicly beheaded for not just criminal activity, but also homosexuality, witchcraft, and adultery. Furthermore, tragic is the fact that women who have been raped have been charged with adultery and executed. Haya gained great animosity within Saudi Arabia and the international community when on March 11, 2002, an all-girls school in Mecca caught fire, and members of Haya prevented girls from escaping the fire in order to prevent them from coming into contact with male rescue workers, and because they were not wearing the appropriate Islamic dress, 15 perished as a result. Things have started to change for the Haya, as in 2007 the Saudi royal family have restricted their authority and they no longer carry the canes and sticks used for flogging. And just recently in 2016, the Haya was further stripped of their powers, making them unable to enforce the laws and instead limiting them to report offenses to official law enforcement. Number 14, Blackwater. A name now synonymous with controversy, the group has renamed itself twice. Blackwater is an American security contractor founded in 1997 by Eric Prince of Michigan. The organization provides military training to support military and law enforcement under contract by the US government. The security section was created in 2002 and received its first contract in 2003 protecting the CIA operatives tasked with tracking down Osama bin Laden. It has also seen missions in Iraq and Afghanistan alongside coalition forces. The organization saw controversy for its actions in Iraq, leading to Prince facing a congressional hearing and possible criminal charges. Contractors have been accused of negligence and unethical practices resulting in the deaths of civilians and their own personnel. Blackwater employees have also been accused of the murder of Iraq Vice President Adel Abdul Mahdi, though this has not been proven. To date, the most controversial action of Blackwater occurred on February 16, 2005. While in Baghdad on an escort mission, four Blackwater guards opened fire on a car and up to 70 rounds pierced the thin metal. Afterwards, the convoy drove off, leaving the driver's fate unknown. While Prince was not charged with any crimes, the US government declined to renew Blackwater's Iraq contract in 2009. Blackwater changed its name to Z in 2009 and later Academy in 2011, which it currently operates under. However, the name Blackwater is still used to refer to the organization by outsiders, and the controversy behind them will never fade away. Number 13, The Bilderbergs. More of a conference than an actual organization. The Bilderberg Group is an annual conference between European and North American political, industrial, and economic elites. It was first held in 1954 as a way to increase relations between Western Europe and North America, an ideology known as Atlanticism. To this day, the conference continues to promote the free market between Western countries and to further invest globally. While seemingly harmless, the Bilderbergs have been accused of attempting to take over the global market for the rich elite, being part of the New World Order conspiracy. Critics have pointed out their lack of transparency and accountability due to their strict secrecy and selective choice of attendees to their conferences. The idea of the group attempting to impose a single world government and planned economy is popular amongst right-wing supporters, while those on the left accuse the Bilderbergs of conspiring to impose a capitalist dominant world and ending economic equality for capital gain. Former Cuban President Fidel Castro even spoke of the Bilderbergs, claiming they were lobbying to create a world government free of borders by manipulating the public for their own gains. Those who have attended the conferences have quickly denied the accusations, and have claimed they aim to create a more global cooperation and a sense of global community as opposed to global dominance. However, they remain a highly debated topic, especially in the world rife with conflict and with nations now fighting with economics rather than weapons. Number 12, Fundamentalist Latter-day Saints. A religious group so controversial and tainted in dark history it makes the Westboro Baptist Church look saintly. The Fundamentalist Latter-day Saints is a splinter group of the Church of Latter-day Saints 
better known as the Mormon Church. The FLDS practices the traditional values Mormonism was founded on and has been shunned by the mainstream Mormon Church for their actions. The split began over the Mormon Church ending polygamy, which Mormon founder Joseph Smith claimed was a divine command in order to enter heaven. The FLDS is based in the border towns of Hilldale, Utah and Colorado City, Arizona. Church leaders run an authoritative community, with women required to wear traditional dress and work in so-called traditional roles, mainly homemaking. The FBI and state police have conducted countless raids on their communities due to the church conducting polygamous marriages of grown men to underage girls, some even in their preteens. The current leader, Warren Jeffs, has served several prison sentences and is currently serving a life sentence, but still has firm control over the FLDS members. Former members have described being forced from their homes by the Hilldale Sheriff's Office under Jeff's orders, separated from their family and forbidden from ever returning. Both the Utah and Arizona State Police don't trust the Sheriff's Office, and there have been several attempts to disband the local police there. If people are traveling between Utah and Arizona and happen to come across Hilldale, it's best to drive right through, as the population is known to be unfriendly to outsiders. Number 11. The Lord's Resistance Army One of Africa's many militias, but also one of the harshest and scariest to exist, the Lord's Resistance Army is based in several Central African nations, mostly operating in and around Uganda. The group is led by Joseph Kony, and currently has between 300 and 400 members. While their ideology is disputed, academics state they are a mix of Christian militants and Akoli nationalists who wish to found an Old Testament Christian Uganda with laws following the Ten Commandments. The Lord's Resistance Army has been accused of countless human rights violations and sectarian violence towards minorities and non-Christians. Kony and his followers are notorious for kidnapping children and either turning them into child soldiers, turning them into forced labor, or forcing them into sex slavery. One of their worst actions was during Christmas of 2008, when LRA fighters murdered 143 people and kidnapped 180 others. At a concert sponsored by the Catholic Church in Ferdes, Congo, several humanitarian groups, including Amnesty International and Invisible Children have advocated for foreign advisors to train and aid African nations to help fight the LRA into submission. Kony's current whereabouts or whether he is even still alive is unknown, but he is suspected to be hiding in South Sudan or Central African Republic, gathering any strength he can to prepare for his next action. Number 10. United Self-Defense Forces of Colombia Colombia has had an unfortunate history of drug cartels and civil war for much of the 20th century. While left-wing groups such as FARC are well known to have caused much of the atrocities over the years, little is known about the right-wing vigilante groups founded in response. The United Self-Defense Forces of Colombia, or AUC, was the largest of these right-wing groups and they were truly malicious to say the least. The AUC aimed to end the FARC insurgency and return Colombia to peace, but their methods to do so were extreme and downright criminal. In 1997, shortly after their founding, AUC fighters massacred 30 people in the town of Malarapan in horrific ways. Many were shot or hacked to pieces with machetes or chainsaws. During a trial by Inter-American Court of Human Rights years later, the Colombian government admitted that members of the Federal Army participated in the massacre, though not under direct orders from the government or military officers. Furthermore, the AUC became heavily involved in drug production and trafficking as a way to fund their armed campaign. To this day, the Colombian government and military has been accused of supporting and participating in AUC's campaign. Through financial and even military assistance, a claim the government denies. The militia began to disarm and stand down in 2006 after a series of crackdowns by the government with US support and eventually folded in 2008. Number 9. The Ku Klux Klan One of the many dark memories of the United States, the Ku Klux Klan is a racist religious organization mostly based in the southern United States. Founded by discontent Southerners in the aftermath of the American Civil War, the KKK first emerged in 1865 as a violent opposition group towards Reconstruction and Abolitionism. Klansmen wear white robes with eye holes, which was used due to African Americans being more superstitious during the American Civil War era, and would be thought to mistake Klansmen for ghosts. The KKK was unforgiving 
and would engage in night rides, mobs, and lynchings throughout the south. Three incarnations of the clan has existed, with its peak being between 1924 and 1925 with between 3 million and 6 million members. Their most famous symbol is the cross burnings they would perform, both as a ceremonial purpose and to intimidate opposition to their activities. The KKK became a household name again during the Civil Rights Movement, where they pushed for continued segregation of blacks and whites from society. They would constantly clash with activists and even had members in government throughout the South, though in secret because by then the Klan had been labeled as an illegal terrorist organization by the federal government. The KKK currently has around 5,000 members, and its power is no longer as strong as it once was, but they continue to be a stain on American history for its long life full of hatred. Number 8. Skull and Bones With such an eerie name to begin with, Skull and Bones is a secret society made up of senior undergraduates of Yale University. The society dates back to 1932 and was founded in the aftermath of a dispute between the Loinia Brothers in Unity and the Calliopian Society over the results of that year's Phi Beta Kappa Awards. Several notable historical people have been members of Skull and Bones, including Presidents Howard Taft, George W. Bush, and Secretary of State John Kerry. Skull and Bones owns several properties around New England, with its main hall gaining the nickname The Tomb due to its eerie resemblance to a tomb found in cemeteries. While most of their confirmed mischief is nothing more than the theft of keepsakes from rival Yale societies, Skull and Bones has become the subject of various conspiracy theories in recent times. Many believe the society to be a form of cult-like organization, and have even accused it of working with Illuminati to dominate society as a global power. The 2004 presidential election saw alumni Bush and Kerry go head-to-head -head in the main election, further fueling the idea Skull and Bones is seeking power in high office in order to implement their malevolent goals. Skull and Bones is currently active and remains secret to outsiders, with the only way to know what goes on within the group is by becoming a member. Number 7. Order of the Solar Temple Claiming to be the predecessors of the Knights Templar, the Order of the Solar Temple was a French secret society founded in 1985. The group was an Armageddon group who wished to, in their own words, establish correct notions of authority and power in the world and prepare humanity for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Their main headquarters was based in Zurich, Switzerland, with its top-ranking members remaining anonymous even from members. Things took a tragic turn in 1994, when members from Quebec, Canada murdered a three-month-old baby in what was believed to be a cult ritual. The ritual was allegedly ordered by Solar Temple co-founder Joseph de Mambro, saying the infant was the Antichrist. Several days later, a series of mass murders and suicides occurred in western Switzerland and Quebec. Among the dead in Switzerland, it included a journalist, a civil servant, and even a town mayor. Swiss and Canadian authorities quickly took action and began to crack down on the group, seizing various records kept by respective sectors. Police were able to thwart several further mass suicides throughout the late 1990s. However, a further 16 bodies were found in a star formation in the Vecors Mountains of France on December 23, 1995, and five more were founded in a charred home in St. Cashmere, Quebec on March 23, 1997. Since then, Solar Temple has remained largely inactive, but it is unknown if the organization continues to exist or not. With their secretive behavior, it is left up in the air if they are still active. Number 6. Kamai or Khmer Rouge An example of pure evil and destruction, the Khmer Rouge started as a communist militant group in Cambodia in the late 1960s, founded by Pol Pot. The group advocated for socialist nationalism and aimed to return Cambodia to its agrarian roots. Khmer Rouge received support largely from North Vietnam and the Viet Cong during the Vietnam War, and was met by heavy resistance by American forces during the Cambodian incursion of 1970. In April 1975, Khmer Rouge forces captured the capital of Phnom Penh and took power. The major cities were completely evacuated and people were relocated to the countryside to create a country based on agriculture. The regime also began the extermination of so-called intellectuals in order to prevent the threat of an armed resistance from within the country. It is estimated a total of 1 million Cambodians died during the Pol Pot regime, with people being killed for something as trivial as wearing glasses. 
Since it was seen as a sign of intellectualism, the Khmer Rouge soon found itself making enemies with former allies, and in 1979, Vietnamese forces invaded and ousted Pol Pot, establishing Cambodia as a puppet of Vietnam and ending the genocide. However, the Khmer Rouge remained an active insurgent group until the 1990s. In 1993, a UN commission re established the monarchy of Cambodia and the remainder of the Khmer Rouge finally surrendered in 1999. Number 5. Ulster Defence Association Those who know of the troubles in Northern Ireland overwhelmingly have heard of the various Irish Republican armies and other Republican paramilitaries. Almost left behind are the various Loyalist paramilitaries, whose goal was for Northern Ireland to remain part of the UK and to fight against the perceived Catholic Republican threat. The largest of these paramilitaries was the Ulster Defence Association, a right-wing Protestant group whose goal was to end republicanism in Northern Ireland. While acting as a peaceful organisation, the group was armed and would conduct attacks against Catholics and Republicans under the name Ulster Freedom Fighters. At its peak in 1972, there were over 40,000 members, but has since declined in strength. Of those killed by the UDA, 80% were civilians of Catholic background or suspected to be Catholic. Opponents of the UDA have charged the organization of having no real targeting strategy, and would target random people in revenge killings simply because they were believed to be Catholic, though this accusation is still in debate. Members have conducted some of the worst massacres during the conflict including the Milltown Massacre, killing three, and the Graysteel Massacre, which left eight dead and 13 injured. The organization went into a ceasefire in October 1996 and officially ended its armed campaign in November 2007. However, it continues to exist as a community development organization, but the memory of their brutal acts continue to cause anger in Northern Ireland to this day. Number 4. The Church of Scientology Not much introduction is needed for this group as they have gained wide attention in recent years. Founded by L. Ron Hubbard in 1953, the Church of Scientology is an organization and religious group promoting their belief system. They believe in self-help through a process called auditing, where people are subjected to re-experience traumatic events from their past in order to become free of the limits they are being held back by. Scientology has become very wealthy through their membership donations and has attracted many well-known celebrities, most notably Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Beck. Scientology has become the target of massive criticism for apparent financial dishonesty and harassment. Several former members have reported and even filmed being harassed by members of Scientology in public and to great extent. Current chairman David Mishkovich has also had much criticism and even accusations of criminal activity, namely Mishkovich's wife Michelle disappeared from public eye in 2007, and friends and family have claimed not to have seen her since. Mishkovich claims she is still working with Scientology, but away from the public for her privacy, but people have alleged she was either kidnapped and has been kept in confinement, or even murdered for making comments critical of Scientology. While the church has become recognized as a religion in several countries, including the United States, many more continue to refuse their status and classify them as a cult. The government of France even fined the church $900,000 for fraud charges, and their fight for further recognition appears to be stalled for the time being. Number 3. The Bald Knobbers Active between 1883 and 1889, the Bald Knobbers was a vigilante group operating in the Okark region of Missouri. The state had been a border state during the American Civil War, and the population were divided almost evenly between Union and Confederate supporters. The Bald Knobbers was started by a group of Unionist Missourians who wished to fight off a series of attacks by suspected Confederate sympathizers who murdered 40 people around Taney County with no person being convicted. Bald knobbers would wear black masks with two extensions at the top similar to bunny ears in order to both conceal their identities and inflict fear on their opposition. While initially being praised as heroes, the public soon turned against them after members were accused of involvement in various criminal activities. 
pro-Confederates started the anti-Bald Knobbers and the two were in constant conflict with heated debates and direct fighting. Both groups were involved in lynchings, night rides, and several shootings with criminal gangs and each other. Missouri Governor Marmaduke finally put his foot down and began rounding up members of both gangs during the late 1880s, resulting in several criminal convictions and executions of Bald Knobbers and anti-Bald Knobbers. The story inspired the 1919 silent film The Shepherd of the Hills, and the groups continue to be the subject of folklore in Missouri today. Number 2. KGB The adversary to the CIA during the Cold War The KGB was the Soviet intelligence services starting in 1954. It gained the reputation of being the most effective intelligence gathering organization during its existence, as it would have agents assigned as workers in Soviet embassies and consulates across the globe, who would gather intelligence on the country they worked in. If caught, these agents would be protected by diplomatic immunity, and the host country could take no action to persecute them. The KGB would also have agents infiltrate countries in order to destabilize their governments and aid in the establishment of communism. Known attempts occurred in Bangladesh, Afghanistan, and India, though there is suspected to be much more. They were also a big part of crushing the Hungarian Revolution in 1956 and the Prague Spring in 1968. In both cases, adversaries stayed in the country after the intervention force succeeded, and the advisors helped to return things back to the way they were. Several agents and mercenary agents were active in the United States as well, including FBI agent Robert Hansen, who worked with Soviets from 1979 until his arrest in 2001. However, with the growing instability of the Soviet Union, the KGB also fell in effectiveness and was unable to prevent the Polish Solidarity Movement and the 1989 revolutions across the Eastern Bloc, which saw the collapse of the Warsaw Pact. After the Soviet Union's collapse in 1991, KGB Chairman Vladimir Krochekov and several supporters attempted a coup to re-establish the Union, but failed, leading to the end of the KGB. Number 1. Central Intelligence Agency The main intelligence organization in the United States, its purpose is to act as counterterrorism, gather information on developing events overseas, the observation of nuclear countries, and those developing nuclear capabilities, counterintelligence and cyberintelligence. The CIA has developed a controversial reputation, particularly during the Cold War. In efforts to maintain a lead against the Soviet Union, the US government used the CIA in order to conduct covert operations across the world, with missions including the training and funding of groups resisting communism, assassination, sabotage, and providing the materials to topple regimes, unfriendly or implementing legislation which countered American interests. The CIA is also suspected of using harsh torture methods, most notably waterboarding in recent years, in order to obtain confessions out of suspected terrorists. Ironically, the CIA trained Osama bin Laden while he was fighting Soviet forces during the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan in the 1980s, and it is believed bin Laden later used his training to plan and initiate the September 11th attacks, along with countless other attacks conducted by Al-Qaeda on bin Laden's orders. The CIA remains highly secretive, and the number of employees remains classified to this day. Thanks for checking out this countdown. Be sure to subscribe as we upload new videos every week. It'd really mean a lot if you join the notification squad by clicking this gear button, checking this box, and then clicking save. See ya.